It may seem that the wise were being a little unkind at this point. You know, couldn't we just spare a little of the oil? However, I don't think that's the point of the parable. Remember, the good shepherd ultimately either fleeces the sheep or eats them, so he can't take images that aren't probably part of the whole design. And so, you know, it's true here that the, the moment comes when you least expect it. The ultimate time is the moment of death. But there are other challenging moments. It's the time of accountability. We kind of go so long and then the master comes. The bridegroom is here. And notice this, unlike the other one, this is the previous parable. This is one where we're waiting for a banquet, for a celebration, the wedding feast. So the bridegroom arrives suddenly, come out to meet him. So the time to come into action is now arri arises. The lamps are the purpose for the purpose of meeting the bridegroom. And they all rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. They, they really have not been thinking through. And they have, in a sense, endangered the whole enterprise. Give me. Of course, that maybe is a kind of a thing to meditate on too. Give me. Give me. We probably don't go far on that phrase. Give me some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. Start taking some accountability. They might be saying a little harshly, you should have thought of this before. But anyway, they say, go, there is a solution. Go to the dealers and think of it. Begin to be wise. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. And while they were away, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. We have a lot of time, or at least we think we do, as long as we have time, it's there. But there comes a point when the door is shut. We don't have infinite ability to keep correcting our mistakes. There is accountability. And that's just reality. Just as the way in which the Lord invites us to participate, to be wise or foolish, and to have the freedom to make that choice, so too there comes a point when the master comes, and they go into the wedding feast, and the door is shut. And we don't know when that will be. So it should concentrate our minds and make us think what it means to be a faithful and a wise servant, to understand what this brief journey through life requires of us. Afterward, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, truly I say to you, I do not know you. We've heard this before in the other parable. Lord, Lord, let us in. But he said, truly I say to you, I do not know you. This is preparing for a bit further, a bit later in this chapter, when the people say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and did not feed you? And see you thirsty and did not give you to drink? 
when did we do this? And he says to them, whenever you did not do this for the least of my brothers and sisters, you did not do it to me. Truly, I do not know you because you did not know me. For the ultimate wisdom is to see the face of Christ in every person and to act accordingly. And the Lord is preparing the way for that as he tells this parable. And then the parable of the talents and then the last judgment. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Be awake, watch. For you know neither the day nor the hour. And that should be an incentive to live wisely and faithfully. For then the day and the hour doesn't matter because we're ready to go. We are eager for the coming of the bridegroom, eager to meet the Lord. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Truly I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. But if that wicked servant says to himself, my master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants and eats and drinks with the drunken, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will punish him and put him with the hypocrites. Their men will weep and gnash their teeth. Then the kingdom of heaven shall be compared to ten maidens who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those maidens rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise replied, perhaps there will not be enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast. And the door was shut. Afterward, the other maidens came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he replied, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.